Hi, my name is Dan Oaks, and I'm the creator of Cookin', the number one best-selling recipe organizer. Over three million sold. Yeah. I'm so proud of my brother-in-law. <laughs> so cool. Thanks. This is my sister-in-law, Cora, my brother's wife. And um, she lives nearby. I asked her to come today to join yep. me yes. as I preview and show you. Unveil. Yeah, yeah, unveil. We're going to unveil the new features this thing. of Cookin' version mm -hmm. 10. We've been working on it for like a year now, in addition yeah. to the mobile apps and everything. Yep, know? and he's kept it secret from me. I don't know anything. Yeah, she hasn't seen it yet. So this will be the unveiling, probably because mm -hmm. we just barely got it working. Yeah, so. <laughs> maybe that's why. <laughs> too, too much information, huh? <laughs> well, anyways, it's cool. We've been working on it for a long time, and it all came together. So anyways, I'm excited to Thank show you. it to you, especially because you're um, a great cook. You know, I love to and cook. You're a real recipe enthusiast. Yes, right? it's one of my favorite things in the whole world. To we do plan is cook. our little visits. She only lives seven minutes away. Yes. We plan our visits a lot of times around dinner time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I noticed it all right because I'm expecting to have leftovers the next day, but no, they're in their bellies. So. <laughs> well, there's like yeah. eight of us, so. and we usually just drop in yeah. out of the blue surprise. Oh, right? we love it. But you're a great cook. You really are. And so you must yes. have a system for keeping track of your recipes, or I mean. Yes, you know I love cooking, uh -huh. but then there are some blogs, my favorite blogs on the web, yeah. and then you know I, I search around if I want to find some gourmet things that I like but um, you, you know I have a hard time with um, you know sometimes I print my recipes out and they get misplaced or mm. um, some that I really want to keep or uh, some of those web pages can print like take four or five sheets of paper to print. yes they do yes they do and then you like use all your color ink cartridges yep and sometimes my printers aren't even working really what do you do that when you find oh yeah I'm like writing it down really? and then I lose those papers it's yeah. so yeah. a mess I you know yeah. I'm surprised at how many people I've talked to who I thought most people print them out and a lot do probably most do but yeah, yes. a lot of people write them down they're looking at the computer screen and write it down yep. I was really mm -hmm. surprised yeah. so I'm excited to show you cook version 10 to yes. see what you think Especially the new feature that allows you to keep track of your internet recipes. Oh, so. my goodness. Yes, all over it. <laughs> well, let's turn around right. <laughs> and I'll boot it up on the computer here and show you. Okay, yes, Cora, this is Cooking right. Version 10. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you like the box? I love it. We I worked real hard colors. on that design, actually. Yeah. Andy worked like crazy oh, he and put did? that together. I yeah. love it. It's, yeah. I'm an artsy person and I really appreciate colors and vibrant. You know, it's really it. challenging to try to display. Mm -hmm. Search the internet and capture your recipes, which oh, is what yeah. I'm going to show you now. So let's Absolutely. launch Cook Conversion 10. Okay. And um, I'm going to show you. Tell me the first thing you notice with this. Um, what do you think the new features are? You ready? Da -da -da -da. Okay. Cook Conversion 10. First of all, the snowflakes. Oh, yeah, like baby. Snowflakes. Rocking my huh? world right yeah, now. Yeah, the new feature. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so this is what we call the new Cook and Home page. Mm -hmm. And what, you know, obviously we have a Cook and Daily and a number of other things. These change on a daily basis, you know. And mm -hmm. um, so we okay. can share re new recipes and cooking tips and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and our, here's our new cookbook that we came out right around Thanksgiving. You know, that's a good idea. Huh? Yes. But what you can see here we featured is the new cooking internet recipe search feature. Really? So now, yeah, what you could do is, let's say you want to find a recipe on the web. Let's okay, say, really? Um, so not just cooking recipes, any recipe yeah, in the world. Yeah, right. Really. You can search the web, right, okay. exactly, right from within cooking. So I'm going to okay. search for chicken pot pie. How yes. about, because did you see that video we did with Jordan? Yes, oh, yes. Isn't that cool? I love a good flaky crust on a chicken pot pie. Yeah, and it made me kind of hungry for a chicken pot pie yeah. recipe. So yeah. now what you can do is search from within cooking, and look how easy it is. It shows you all these recipes right here oh, wow. on right. the web. So these are some of my most searched for sites anyway. Are they? I, I actually go to some of these sites to look for different things because I trust them. You uh -huh. know, I know they've had good recipes before in the past, and they have a lot of ratings and reviews. Yeah. So I do that all the time. Yeah, and so a lot of people do, and then you'll find some really good recipes. Problem is, you know, you print this recipe out right here. In fact, let's find another one. That one looks good. Let's say, um, you know, this Pillsbury one. Okay. Oh, that's oh a great look at that. Doesn't that look like yeah, a great photo? Oh, yes. man, yeah. But look how long this is. You know, if you print this out, it's going to print yeah. pages and pages of, yes, exactly. you know, paper. It's going to use up all your ink. Yeah, on instead your of just a few lines of the actual recipe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But what you do now, in fact, let's say we like this recipe. We want to keep it. We want to make it for dinner, right? Yes. Now what you do instead with cooking. And keep it and not lose it because I will print them out and yeah. lose them. They're lose them. Yeah, and, then you gotta, and then you've got to search again they're and try to remember. mixing with the kids' homework or something. Really? It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and they're turning in recipes in school yeah, instead exactly. of their homework. <laughs> Your teacher appreciates it, appreciates it I bet. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cora, that was a good recipe. <laughs> so anyways, now instead, okay, with Cooking Version 10, what you can do is click this capture button. And now what Cooking does is it goes through and it scrapes the content on this page and it populates mm. the Cooking Recipe window. Mm -hmm. So now you've got that recipe with all the fields filled out in cooking here. Excellent. And so Excellent. now I can go and I can view this. Okay. And mm -hmm. look, at we even capture the food photo. Yes. And we save a link to the original recipe. So yeah, okay. in case you do want to look at
the reviews. Right, and right, yes, exactly. Good. So you always but you know. don't need that. I mean, it's, it's exactly. you know, kind of one of those unnecessary things. Right. You know? But that is beautiful. And so now what I can do is I can go, okay, I want to save this in the Oaks Family Cookbook in the Main Dishes chapter, right? Mm -hmm. And so I can click Save, and Cookin' will then go and add it to my cookbook. So now yes. this recipe that I found on the web, right, mm -hmm. now I have it forever in my cookbook, you know. Wow. And with it being in the cooking format, the other cool thing I can do is I can say, let's see, this recipe actually, the original serving size, it didn't capture right. So what I'm going to do okay. is change this. I'm, I'm going to say, I think it serves six servings, right? Okay, yeah. So some of the times when it scrapes the page mm -hmm. of the content, we do the best we can to fit it in the right field, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. And it's not always 100%, but okay. it's way better than any alternative that yes. there is you know mm -hmm. so in this case i'm going to change this i'm going to say no this recipe serves six yep i'm going to say um one pie <laughs> okay. right yep. it's okay. a chicken pot pie and i'm going to save this okay so now what happens is let's say you know we have a big family there's eight of us let's say you guys mm -hmm. are coming over with your kids right oh, now yeah. i can say no 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 let's adjust the recipe serving size so this serves 12. Yes. and watch this it's going to change all these amounts right here all you know? right isn't that cool now you yeah, can't do that normally is. if you find a recipe i, mean, on I would website. seriously sit in the kitchen with a with my paper and a pencil trying to do the math uh -huh. it's been a long time really <laughs> <laughs> i mean the most math i do is in the kitchen uh-huh yeah, yeah. yeah. So it'd be nice to have it done for me in a, in a second yeah isn't that really yeah, cool so yeah. cooking does that automatically for you if yes. you want if you do want to print this recipe let's mm -hmm. say for example okay well when cooking prints it it formats it so you can print it on a three by five card or a four okay. by six card you know oh, what i mean yeah. or even on a full page and you can yeah. include the picture if you want to you mm -hmm. know and print this out so printing recipes is easier adjusting the serving sizes you can analyze the nutritional value of this recipe oh, you know really? I can make it a shopping list and it puts all my um, dairy products together and all my meat and poultry and everything wow. and then it analyzes the nutritional value this one looks like it's got quite a few calories here mm -hmm. that's okay <laughs> with me <laughs> but you know the neat thing is once you got like I say your recipe in cooking then you can do a lot of things you can theme it you know I've got this um, modern theme oh, going on here I love that mm -hmm. and you can you know email this recipe so here I captured this recipe off the web mm -hmm. and now and you can make it your own yeah you exactly own. you can your... customize it change the yeah. serving size email it print mm -hmm. it and make menus and shopping lists and everything else you know so, or sync it with your mobile device oh, you know your iPhone yeah. so when you're in the kitchen or your iPad you don't have an iPad though yet do you no okay no, but you got an iPhone, iPhone right yes. yeah so you can sync it with your iPhone that way when you're in the kitchen boom you know you search the yes. recipe the web for a recipe mm -hmm. you found it now you can sync it to your mobile device yeah you know? and I can go to the store and have my my ingredients ready to look at and yeah right. right yeah on your yeah on your shopping list on your iPhone yes. yeah yeah so yes. here's the thing I got to tell you one thing mm -hmm. and everybody else listening too the iPhone app is so we submitted it to that Apple um, mm -hmm. they review every app before it goes live in the app store yes. we're sta still waiting for them to review <gasps> it yeah. Oh. Actually, well, here's the truth. You know what happened? It got rejected the first time. Do you know why? Why? Because we had the word Android in there. <laughs> oh. And they don't allow it. Isn't that interesting? Weird. <laughs> so we had to like modify it and just yeah. take that word out. Yeah. And then we had to resubmit it. So we're waiting for them to review it. So it's going to go live real soon. And then the recipes in cooking will sync to the cooking cloud and then to your mobile device. And it's yes, all automated. Exactly. Oh, it's all automated. Incredible. Yeah, it's really cool. So now, I noticed on here that you have the word edit. So does that mean I can change? You know, there was one time I, I made a casserole, actually just last weekend for Christmas breakfast, uh -huh. and it said to bake it for 15 minutes on a blog that I found. Yeah, a recipe, and it really took 45 minutes, and I, I was late for the party and everything. So I can actually change the recipe yeah, you if can I change find that it's recipe. incorrect. Uh huh. Yeah. That so that is, and then I'll have it forever. I don't have to try to remember it again or find my paper that I printed. Exactly. Off. So you could modify it. You could say, no, no, no. The prep time is more like, uh, more like 15 minutes. Yeah. You know, I don't yeah. know. They were wrong on that. Mm -hmm. And you can even say the cook time is more like 45 minutes. I think. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. And so you can totally modify this recipe, yeah, customize it. Yeah, if your oven's it. a little different or something, that's great. Yeah, if you it. don't like the onion in it or whatever, you can take the onion out or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, I yeah. I would leave the onion in. Oh, I like, I like onion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then sometimes we get these funky characters. We're still working on this. We're cleaning it up. But here's a cool yeah. thing about cooking version ten too, mm -hmm. is just like with cooking version nine, we're going to continue to post updates on the internet. So if you upgrade to cooking version ten, mm -hmm. what happens is. From time to time, all of a sudden, a message will come up and say, hey, a new version was installed. You know, when we came out with Cooking Version 9 over the next six months, we added 50 new features. Could you believe that? And improvements wow. and enhancements to it. And that's going to be the same thing with Cooking Version 10. Wow. So what you're saying is this will give for the rest of the year. This will keep giving. Like you, you get it for your wife or 
your uh, sister-in-law yeah, or your, or your right. dad who we're maybe be, likes to bake. Yeah, we're going to be improving the printing yeah. features and the emailing features. We're going to email recipes in this um, new themed format. Uh-huh. So it's HTML message, you know? Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to be adding all these new features, and then you're going to yeah. get to download them for free, you know? Yeah, so that's amazing. Yeah, so it's that just giving cool? all year long. Every once in a while, you'll get you know a new update, and it'll make it um, even better and better and better. I can't yeah. just imagine. So yeah. capturing the recipes is really neat, but also searching for them is really cool. We've added some new features now where um, you, know, you can search in your selection category okay. or the selected menu you can also if you're looking for a chicken uh, let's say let's say you want a chicken pot pie recipe okay. right but you're allergic to celery or something like yes yeah, so I have a know? brother that's allergic to onions so oh really yeah let's say onions so yeah. so I want to find recipes that have the word chicken pot pie in it but without any onions okay yeah. so now okay. I can do a search and cook and will search the web and now I've got all different search results here, you know, and all these recipes don't have onions. Oh, on. Isn't that cool? cool? He would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, searching with cooking on the web is just so much better than actually going to like Firefox or Internet Explorer. Mm. You know yes, what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And you can do your and search. And I can go to any of my blogs, any of my favorite blogs. That yeah, I you can go to I mean, any of them. Sometimes I'll yeah. think of, you know, what I'm craving, like that chicken uh-huh. pie. Yeah. And I go, oh, I, I wonder how my favorite cook mm. or my favorite blogger makes it. Right. So right. I'll get onto her site and I'll uh-huh. want to print it off and they get lost. Yeah. And Anytime you're on a, so, on a page is, here, I mean, I can click all around wherever I want to go here. And keep it organized. And anytime I land on a page with a recipe, mm-hmm. then at that point, I can go ahead and click the capture button. Let me see if I can find one here. So, I don't know, double, double Ooh, AR that tacos. Looks delicious. So now I'm on a recipe, right? And however I happen to get here, let's say I went through a blog or mm-hmm. I did whatever, right? I happen yes. to get here. Now I just click this capture button and cook and capture. Ooh, you know, isn't man, that, cool? that is seriously isn't that really easier cool? than I thought it was going to be. I need things simple, you know. And you know how you mentioned you that you can edit the recipes? Yes. One of the things we made it easier to edit, if you had to bake this for, let's see, I don't see the degrees here, but let's say uh, on a um, 400 degree or 350 degree skillet. Okay. Now what I can do with Cook Conversion 10 is press Control D. For degree. For degree. And it inserts it in there. Yeah. You just press Control D. It's a common one, so we added that feature. We had a number of other things, too, including more cowbell. Oh, yeah. cowbell. <laughs> cowbell. She wants that? Yeah, I love a little cowbell. And here's the other thing, too, is cooking is really easy <laughs> to um, upgrade, by the mm-hmm. way, to version okay. 10. When we went from version 8 to version 9, mm-hmm. we had to do this file conversion from one format to the other. Oh. And it, um, anytime you do that, it's a little complicated. You know what I mean? Converting right. the file. Right. But in this case, the file format stayed the same. So upgrading from version 8 to, I mean, from version 9 to version 10 is really easy. And, uh, Very good. I bet that, yeah, I bet that helps on the whole tech support thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier. People don't want to spend hours trying to figure that stuff out. Yeah, right. Not wanna, yeah. And this one's all yeah. automated. Upgrading to version automated. 10 is really I like simple. That word. So. So keep an eye out for it. You're going to get an email soon. Yeah, and, good. Uh, we're going to be it... releasing it real, real quick. Oh, I can't wait. It better be on my doorstep Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> Cora, thanks for joining us. Yes. And uh, for all you out there listening, thank you for listening in. I hope you guys enjoyed Cooking Version 10. Yes, wonderful. Thank you so much.